What beautiful homes. Far different from the slums of Anbar. my guest this is my house bought with my generosity bought by my genius for tokens favors and personal dedications you may find sayeda arib in the garden after her recital good day you must be her patron it is an honor sayedi if i may i seek a private audience with the poetess do you I have been moved beyond words by her words. Symmetry of sky and sea. I only wish to express my sincere admiration. Pretty words. Nearly as pretty as hers. And just as false. We both know what mask she wears, don't we? Mask, Saidi. Enough, Saidi. I know what you are, and I know why you've come. You think I haven't seen you skulking in the shadows? She's no longer party to your plots, your secret meetings, your foolish nicknames. I have scrubbed her clean of them. For I have set a watch on her door. My men dog her recitals. Every letter she's had of you I have shredded or sent back. Sent back? You will find them piled at the postal bureau. Burn them. Bury them. Do what you will. You can choke on them for all I care. leaves the garden and follows the mouse. Secret order correspondence, bad poetry, a bit of both. Harib could be a father. The patron spoke of a recital in the gardens. 
I could give this letter to Harim and see where the vixen leads me. Cobra, but plunge be you, ocean, desert, cobra, dove. All shapes and humors will I embrace. Hello there. Have we met? Come, don't be shy. I rarely bite and I never leave a mark. <laughs> it seems there's no privacy in the public eye. How came you by that letter? Who put you up to this? I work in the dark to serve the light. <laughs> I've met the men who serve the light. It seems its glare oft leaves them blind. Are your masters so blinkered and bumbling? You were warned, you son of a dog. Come, Arib, we will set no tongues to wagging here. Yours is the tongue that will not still itself, even when I beg for silence. You spurned the counsel of he who raised you, and without whom you would still be nothing? I raised myself. I authored myself. I have written myself into history. You are banished from my pages. Now be gone! How can I leave you to walls such as these? You're a woman alone, unarmed. Words are weapons enough for me. Then let us see what defense they offer. Take her. There's somewhere the Sayyida needs to be, and you are delaying her. It seems that words can summon shields. We will need to make this quick. Arib has left for her secret meeting. I must hurry. The letter commanded Athala to leave the garden and follow the mouse. Perhaps Arib is not lost to me yet. You can't fool me! That devil! Get over here! You should bring him before the Madalin court. But he thinks only of my reputation, 
Sara. To safeguard success, I must be palatable, discreet. He fears I am too proud. <laughs> you? Never. I write that love is feral and free, unbound by stricter or statute. Should I not practice what I publish? Practice makes perfect. It also makes enemies. So be it. But let me choose them. Courtiers, caliphs, patrons, partners, so many men have tried to decide my enemies. <laughs> and friends. Though Allah knows I once chose poorly, he hid himself well. And the poet needs patrons, even one so great as al -Falab. Well, I have my pick. Good. There's trouble times ahead. I will be fine. I have survived six caliphs. I will survive... Six more. Don't worry, Sarah. I'll kiss the rings I need to kiss, but I will not be bound again. Not by anyone. Secret meetings. Coded names. There is no trace of the order here. Still, she has her pick of patrons. Maybe the head of the order is not Harib herself, but an admirer.